This is another of the Harpoon 3 professional demonstrations. In this particular scenario, uh, we're looking at an engagement between um, the United States and the Chinese navies. Um, it's set sometime in the future, and in this case, uh, we can see a couple of new screens. Uh, we can turn on, for example, um, show all so we can see both sides. And if we look down here, we have the uh, possibility of changing sides. So now we've got the US is blue and the Chinese is red. We'll let this start and we will expand up the screen a little. Now the first thing that you see here is we have a US uh, carrier uh, battle group headed up by the um, Theodore Roosevelt and um, we have for the Chinese and it's got its usual array of um, submarines. I'll well, we'll slow this down a little and you can see missiles coming out and um, here we have Type uh, 51 um, and Type 53 destroyers and uh, some sort of Remy class so some reasonable amount of firepower out here now we can see the missiles going out the harpoons something's triggered a swarm attack most people know these days that if you uh, fire one missile at a time uh, the enemy defences will kill in one uh, missile at the time so it's not effective so if you make the decision to uh, fire you fire everything you've got so there's um, tomahawks and harpoons going out and coming back in defence um, we've got some silkworm the um, missiles aren't currently uh, in range of the ship's defences but we'll see that occur fairly soon we'll just increase the size set of the screen and we'll increase the speed of the simulation. It's now running at five times real time. We can see um, supporting helicopters going out. In this case the posture of the Chinese is fairly defensive and so they're not, they're, they're, by now they'll know uh, an attack is on the way, um, but they aren't um, taking on um, um, attacks of their own. And we'll see what the results of this are. Got um, some Hornets cruising, some helicopters, and we've got the um, various DDGs acting as uh, guards for the for the carrier. Now this is a just open up a bit further, and we'll centre on the attack. And we can start to see uh, missiles being taken down. This one is uh, it's going to be very quick here. Some short range and some medium range missiles in the um, field of the Chinese Navy and see a lot of um, um, action now. No sinking yet but um, I would expect to see a sh ship loss fairly soon as they get through. Some strikes there, ship lost, probably a Sovremi. Last couple of the swarm attack and in this particular case the Chinese didn't retaliate. So the ships were hit. I'll just go back and we'll just zoom out a bit, see what else is in the area. So that's basically uh, a fairly intensive engagement and um, looks like the Chinese have lost a ship. So if we just pause this for a moment and then we'll resign and we'll say OK. Now we'll see what happens. OK. Um, they're showing actually four ships being lo lost or, uh, in here. Um, we've got two Subremis, uh, Type 51 and a Type 53. And if we go down and look at the amount of ordnance that went out, we can probably see why. So the US didn't lose anything, but they put out eight harpoons, a whole lot of uh, tomahawks, some slam missiles, more tomahawks going out, um, and so a lot of ordnance going out. So it was a swarm attack on the ships and just overwhelmed the ships' defences. And you can see that they responded here with um, a couple of uh, silkworm missiles, a lot of uh, short range cartels, a lot of um, artillery, some. Um, 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 service, uh, naval service to air missiles, even some um, close in defences. So a very deadly uh, short 
um, a missile exchange with the result of um, the Chinese losing four, um, four ships. And that's the end of this simulation.